All right, we're back again on the bill. These are the stuff that right behind me, you see boxes all loaded with a lot of stuff that um, we received. And we're going to be testing those and we're going to be putting things together. And today is Easter Day. That will be April 9th, 2023, live at JW Solo USA. So today we're going to go back and complete some of the other stuff we already started. And um, like I mentioned, and there we go. I'm going to pan here and see exactly what we're dealing with here. So these are bus bars. You know, it can hold up, uh, handle up to about uh, 250 amps on a 12 volt. And uh, we can use them for 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts, respectively. And you can see on the other side, I try to make it easier for you guys to see. I flip them. You can see the other side over there with a copper bus bar. I have them upside down. Okay. Or flip them. The back coming to the front, the front going to the back. And this is what it looks like on the other side over there. And this is the back side here. Okay, these are Midnight Solar, which is called the CB something, which are in, um, incorporated with uh, Midnight Solar or partners. And they just put the labels on them. But this is what I have and how we're gonna do on these projects that we already started. And we have to complete this. It's a 48 volt with my batteries here, the Panasonic's. And um, let's roll them out and so you guys can see them, how everything works live from JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Happy Easter. Well, let's roll the batteries and you will see what I'm talking about here. So that's why I have in the casting wheels. So lithium battery on the wheels. There we go. What about that? I don't know if you can see it properly, but there comes the batteries. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I go about this one old system. So, these are the batteries. Get this angle properly. Here goes the leads um, for the batteries of the positive ones from each string. I have two strings of six. And I have... Three on the other side here, which is uh, six batteries, where two, two of them, two in parallel, two in parallel, two in parallel. So that's what I did. And this is the uh, negative leads for this first bank right here. And the wire length, they're all the same. It's just because of the height. So it makes it like this one, it looks like it's kind of a little bit shorter compared to this because it's higher and uh, and the other string comes from the other side here I'm just taking the Kempton tape that holds them this is the other string right here so that gives us the uh, the two strings of six so now what we're going to do on this situation, on this project, I would like to um, put breakers on these guys instead of using the, uh, the um, bus bars. So these are the bus bars. It has a big op opening. It's a uh, five sixteenth. 
I will not say I will recommend this one if you want to do some heavy duty work. Um, it's nice. It has a huge uh, bolts and nuts. It's a robust. But I will not recommend pulling too much amps into stuff like this. Then you can able to use the little ones here to connect like your um, smaller devices. So remove the Phillips right here and go about it. But it's really beefy. Look at this. It's a huge terminal. I don't see that. So it has a nice cover. Looks like a nice build. And um, so I was going to do use um, the terminal ring so I can able to make the terminals here and hook them up here. And got these three of them tied in here since we have a uh, four. Okay. So I was going to do it this way. Okay. And this one is going to go to the inverter or the charge controller. Right here. The fourth one. But doing so, I have to have one disconnect. But what I happen right now is not going to work that way. The way I want it to work. Now, the purpose of having these guys here is already become useless. These guys, we want to utilize them instead of using the bus bars. This is going to be after these guys here, the breaker. Okay, so 150 amp, 80 volts. Those batteries are 48 volts. Those ones are 48 volts. You know, it's about 54.6. So, what I'd rather do and drop this guy, drop this guy down and utilize this guy for here. I got all this stuff, guys, tied up into this. So, it's going to look like this. Now, it become a string then the negatives these guys go on the other bus bar here which is the black one and tied into these guys here okay then all of a sudden when I'm done it will look just like this these guys are here And these guys are here. Tied all the way to these guys here. This is how it's going to look like. So I'm just using these guys, the breaker, and this other boss bar. This one come to play. This one tied into these guys here. See, make sense now? This is going to tie into this and eliminate because this one parallels everything. This guy goes onto these guys here. Okay, this is what exactly I was trying to illustrate here. So the battery is going to look like this. All the positive from this battery and comes down all the way three of the wires comes in here and bring the voltage and the amperage to this guy right here and we got a disconnect as a triple throw no double throw triple throw we turn it off and likewise here and all the negatives gonna be on this and that all of them are coming from the battery bank from here okay 
It's coming from the 12 batteries. So two of them wired in parallel is a, a, a like a 2P all the way each battery two of them to see the connection here is the this is the parallel connection to two batteries two batteries and two batteries here same thing so I already become a 6P battery right here 12p sorry 12p in uh, 48 volt so it goes all the way to here and we're gonna throw these guys here for protection lock this bus bars and we do the same thing for here so they're gonna be like this and I have a remaining set over there for the next projects. So I hope this one makes sense. And I'm just going to do the crimping. This one's already done the crimping. So I can just get them hooked up right away to the 516th right here. See that? It gets right there easily. And bolt this guy to that guy and put this one to the back of the thing here. But if I have to make, I would have went the other way around and get all these positive or negative wires. I have to make terminal rings for all of them. All of them tied to the bosses. And after that, and I have to take <laughs> another thing again from here. Or maybe just one more wire from here to pull to a breaker that's going to be maybe a single breaker or a, a double throw breaker. Well, since I already have all these 10 breakers here, why can't I just utilize them for the same purpose here? It's easy set up like this. I can able to mount this thing and or maybe change the rack, which is the dolly change becomes a little bit longer so i have all these breakers gonna be tied on the gray part here on the sides maybe the boss but the negative boss boss will go on the corner right there and the corner side of this one and the positive stays here but the wires are all the same length and because of that when it comes to the top up here to the top battery it look like this wire is kind of a little bit stretch but since you're running a parallel configuration, you want your wires to be all the same length. And um, I have the machine here for crimping. The other one I have served me for so long. I've done a lot of projects with that. And uh, it snapped right on the head right here. So it's already passed I many years. So I'm not going to make... A complaint about that to um, the seller but um, I forgot how many years they said um, supposed to the warranty for that but this is the build and this is what I just created and this is what I'm gonna do you see the end product okay like and subscribe stay tuned and we're gonna charge the batteries thanks for watching JW Solar USA happy Easter bye for now